Okay guys, let's continue in the part 2 uh, how to install the, the Plex server for our streaming uh, home server uh, uh, like I told you uh, probably in the, in, the, in the previous video we are, go we are going to have two options how to install the Plex server the option one will be in, under the Windows systems and the option two could be in the Linux server with uh, under the Linux server uh, in my case which is this is our case I'm going to install it in a virtual machine you can also have a, if you want to and you have the resources you can uh, install the Plex server in an individual machine a physical machine you know just to have it dedicated to to have dedicated all the hardware to the Plex server but in my case, I'm just going to use a virtual machine. Okay, let's continue and let's uh, uh, download the Plex server to the Linux uh, Linux uh, 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 Linux uh, operating system. In my case, I'm using Ubuntu 22.04. This is uh, the version of uh, my uh, Ubuntu. Uh, operating system let's go and download the Plex Plex.tv <coughs> uh, could be just Plex.tv enter or in this case already uh, did, uh, did my research where I have to download it go enter you go to the download part uh, pick the Plex media server enter you have a uh, the different operating systems that the Plex server can be installed uh, you can use Windows uh, a lot of people use Windows because it is easy for them I mean Windows actually is really easy for anybody uh, but I'm gonna use uh, Ubuntu as my operating system so I'm gonna pick Linux I'm gonna uh, choose uh, uh, let me see the 64 bit the way that I'm going to download this under uh, uh, Ubuntu is this way I'm gonna copy the link address copy the link address go to the let's start from the beginning go to the you know uh, you uh, uh, you, you have to go to the Ubuntu server right that I created and remember in the previous video I keep an, an IP address a static IP address which was 192.168.1.55 okay and I, I'm gonna go and enter and gonna use uh, the my username which was administrator Traitor and, uh, and my password. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> there is no update to do this, uh, to do in this uh, in this uh, uh, version of Ubuntu right now. So let's go and download the. A Plex server uh, install installation software and Ubuntu. How we do this? Just use the wget uh, command and remember that I copy. Let's do this again. Copy the address. Okay. Go to the SSH uh, window and right click on the screen okay and enter now we are downloading the Plex server installation uh, software okay one is done let's make sure that uh, we downloaded the uh, the software ls 
is there. You can see it. This is the software that we are going to install. Okay, uh, let's close this window. Let's close, actually I shouldn't have closed the window. So let's open it again. 55. And uh, I'm gonna use uh, actually the SSH in order to install all because this is um, the SSH interface uh, which you can see this is um, this is putting uh, it's called <coughs> solar solar dash putting I love this uh, this uh, in this terminal really it's really useful I recommend it <laughs> Okay. Okay, let's continue with installation. Okay, before installed the Plex server, let's go to the hypervision, create a checkpoint just in case something goes wrong. Uh, we can start over. Uh, then once it's created you can see it it was created at uh, 12 of 6 well we are 12 of 7 right now uh, but that's the checkpoint that we can go back if uh, we want to uh, rest, uh, start over the installation now uh, let's move to the ssh you know uh, idea l you know i uh, call the command ls to because i want to see uh, the Plex media server that I'm going to install in this uh, Ubuntu operating system. Okay, now let's go and uh, install it. sudo app install uh, Plex Plex media uh, install. Let me see. Oh. Uh, slash okay uh, I use the, the I just put in the three first word of the, the the software that we are going to install and tap so it's gonna uh, automatically um, enter all the the name of the uh, software the software so let's uh, enter password it's the same password that you use for your for uh, you know when you to log into the login into a Ubuntu. Yes. And start the installation. Let's wait until uh, it's installed of all, all the libraries. So sorry, I've been sick the last three days, and uh, my nose is stuff. Apologize for that. Download is performed. Okay, you can see right here it was the downloaded. Good. Okay, now we are going to see if uh, the software was installed properly. What we are going to do is a sudo sudo systemstl. I think it's status aplex. Yep, plex service. Let's see. As you guys see, you know, this is working and running. Next step is to, to make sure that, uh, you know, this uh, is working and, the, um, you know, the, the web interface, the web interface is working. 
let's see, uh, let's open uh, this browser right here. Uh, let's put the IP address. Remember, I have a, a static IP address in this one, and the server is a 192.168.1.55. That is our. The port is going to be uh, 32400. Uh, port 33400. Uh, 32400, sorry. Uh, slash web. Let's see if uh, we can get into the GUI, the Plex server GUI interface. Uh, ah, oh, sorry, I put two, two uh, columns. Sorry for that, guys. Uh, it's just one column. Let me see, I need, uh, let's do, all right. Uh, this is working uh, you know I while ago uh, actually my web browser is uh, logging with the JCME you know this is the email that I use for it uh, let's sign in hopefully we are going to get uh, let's wait a couple minutes Okay, uh, it's taking too too long. So what we can do is actually stop the the browser by just deleting uh, this part right here from index. Just delete that part right there and go and do it again. Enter. And yes, now we have the interface that we are looking for. Okay, you can see how Plex works, Plex Media Server runs on the computer where you keep your files. Plex scan your media and automatically organize it and make it, make it be makes it beautiful. Play your media on any screen with your favorite Plex app. You know, this application is very useful, guys. If you want to, you have a bunch of uh, DVD uh, movies that you have, uh, you know, I'm actually in DVDs you can uh, transform it to digital uh, with this application and, and, uh, and uh, save it, you know, in this server. So anybody, anybody from your house can see it from the a smart TV, a tablet, or any smart device. This is very, very, very nice uh, uh, app out there. Uh, also, the another feature that I have, the, the software has is that you can um, um, call the GUI interface, the Plex server interf interface, from any com any computer. You know, if I am, uh, uh, you know, if I am in my room and I want to just have my laptop, you know, with me, and I want to watch a movie that I have uh, saved in the, in the server, you know, just open the laptop. You know, uh, go to the address. You know uh, the, that you uh, that your Plex server has the IP address and call the application. Well, let's continue and the next video how to uh, do all the stuff that I mentioned before.